Hi there, my name is Dennis Shankar, the founder of Mapping Your Way, specializing in cartographic and mapping solutions. Today I would like to talk about one of my recent projects, the map of Venezuela. Being in love with the country of Venezuela, I decided to express this love the only way cartographers would do, by producing a map. What started out as a hobby project, eventually became into a professionally designed a one size map of the country. This was presented as a token of gratitude to the Vice Minister of Foreign Relations of Venezuela, Mr. Zoan Noya. In cartography, producing an A1 size map has a lot of challenges. One of the first things we have to consider is the theme or the topic of the map. I can produce a vegetation map or a population distribution map. For this map, I have decided to cover the physical and the political aspect of the country. This includes mountains, rivers, roads and cities. From this theme, I have to find suitable information layers. The map is built on multiple layers mountains, roads, cities. Where do you think I get this sort of information? Google Maps? Of course not! I have to find credible sources of information. For example, government websites, military maps, universities and petroleum associations. These are the sources that you do not generally question them. This map is built on those sort of information. So you can trust this map. This is the map of Venezuela that I did. If you look at this globe, all the information layers are based on a sphere, which is 3D. The process of bringing the information layers from a 3D onto a flat map is called a map projection. The map projection I have chosen for Venezuela is the sphere mercator. Since Venezuela is an equatorial country, the sphere mercator projection shows the correct shape of the nation. Later, I brought all the layers onto the same projection. We do not want a situation where the cities and rivers are all over the place. All the locations on this map are correct. One of the biggest challenges I have faced in this mapping project is to make many judgments. For example, classifying the roads. I want to know whether this road is a primary road or freeway. Official maps of Venezuela classify their roads based on pavement types. But that's not what I am interested in. What I am interested in is the primary importance of the road. Hence, I have consulted multiple websites to determine whether this road is a primary road or a dirt trail. On top of it, I consulted satellite imagery to determine whether the road is in existence, under construction or dirt track. Finally, I have to consider the language and the naming rules of this map. The whole map of Venezuela was produced in Spanish, hence everything in this map needs to reflect good quality Spanish. Moreover, the name of geographical locations such as rivers and cities must reflect official standards. Google Maps is not the source I would consult. I refer to a lot of military and government maps to ensure names such as Colonia Tobar or Valencia or Puerto Cabello to be correct. By placing names across the map, I came to know interesting places such as Isla El Buro, the Donkey Island, and Isla Raton, the Rat Island. And this created a lot of fun when I was producing this map. This project is not mere producing a map of Venezuela. It also allowed me to explore the fun and the uniqueness of this country. Now that you have considered all the factors I have taken into in producing a map, I have used the ArcGIS mapping software to produce this map of Venezuela. The first formal draft came in March, which is a milestone itself in the project. Similar to a good artist, producing one draft of the map is insufficient. I spent one hour scrutinizing the entire map. It is through this I have found errors omissions and things I could improve on. Subsequently, I produced multiple drafts to progressively improve the map. In late November, the momentous occasion came. I was waiting in anticipation to see the completed map of Venezuela in an A1 size print. 
I feel so excited to see the map as though I was seeing my first newborn baby. In early December, I travelled to Venezuela and presented the map to Mr. Zuan Noyer, the Vice Minister of Foreign Relations. He was very much appreciative of the efforts I have taken to produce this map. Today, I still keep in contact with him and he tells me that he uses my map in his work for various purposes. I feel so happy and fulfilled to hear that news. So this is the journey of producing the map of Venezuela. If you are interested to see my other sample works, please click the link below. If you are ready to start your mapping journey with me, please drop me an email today.